Welcome to Z Code System and our latest video as we look at the Major League Baseball playoff picks for Wednesday night, September 30th. I'm Drew and it's great to have you here and we're going to take a look at four games and give you four picks uh, for this week's games. The game one, uh, all game ones for the National League side of the bracket uh, in the Major League Baseball playoffs, which are going to be played on, on Wednesday night, the 30th. So very exciting this year's MLB playoffs. We've come through a 60-game season, a shortened season due to the COVID-19 pandemic. And of course, Major League Baseball expanded the playoffs to 18, sorry, to uh, 16 teams, eight teams from each side uh, to counteract the fact that there were fewer games played in the regular season. And as you know, uh, Major League Baseball has now put the teams in neutral sites. So these games will be played in hub cities, uh, similar to what the NHL did with the NHL playoffs and what basketball has done in Orlando with the NBA playoffs. So very interesting and very exciting playoffs coming up. And we're going to get them underway on Tuesday, the 29th, when the American League starts them off. They're going to be playing four games on that day. And then every team will be in action on Wednesday. And like I said, I'm going to focus today on the senior circuit. I prefer the National League personally. Um, I just enjoy it more, always have. Um, so we're going to look at the four games and give you four picks for those games. Now, uh, also with the Major League Baseball playoffs, uh, the the uh, the league has announced that we're going to see the in the wild card round, we're going to see best of three games. In the divisional round, we're going to see best of five. And in the uh, championship series, the league championship series, we're going to see best of seven. So we're going to see things uh, changing a little bit as we progress through the playoffs. Now, one of the cool things, I think, uh, because we're not going to have any travel days, we're not going to see teams going across the country, uh, going from New York to L.A. to play um, home and away, and we're going to be on a neutral site. Um, we're going to see something really cool, in my opinion, and that is the fact that we're going to have uh, every team playing with no off days. I think that's really cool. Uh, and I think one of the, the things that is going to ha definitely happen is managers are going to come into play more with the way they uh, field their teams, the way that they strategize and do all those things, which is going to be cool. Uh, and it's going to be really, really interesting uh, for uh, managers, how they pick their pitchers and how they play their pitchers. And one of the things I noticed today is we get ready for the National League games being played on the 30th is the fact that there are still teams uh, as of the time of putting together our weekly blog in this video, uh, there are still teams that have not announced their starting pitcher. So we're going to take a look at some different things here, and we'll talk about the teams that have uh, already announced their pitchers, at least as of this writing. So guys, of course, you can go over to the Z Code System blog, and you can get all up to date on everything we're doing there. Uh, if you are a better on soccer, then you can check out the Soccer Buddy and using that with tips and strategies. Uh, I've shown the Soccer Buddy in our Premier League previews. Uh, previously, so you can get some information on that, and we'll be giving you a Premier League video later this week uh, if that is your uh, preferred way to bet. And of course, you can scroll through and find out all these other great things, all the other great things that we post there, whether it be contests, whether it be other things on the wall, and of course, the other picks that we post, whether it be NFL or NBA, Premier League soccer, whatever it is, you can find it there. And then you can also go over to the VIP wall and get all of the picks there and use the other tools. Now, we're specifically talking about Major League Baseball, and we're talking about September 30th. Before we do that, let's take a quick look at Major League Baseball's bracket for the playoffs. Okay, so I've simply just brought up MajorLeagueBaseball.com and uh, the bracket that they have there. And uh, in doing so, I'm just going to scroll down, and you can see uh, how things are going to look and unfold. And we've got, as I said before, September 29th is when the AL will start. They'll go to October 1st and they starting a day later and finishing a day later will be the National League. And as you can see there, the hubs, San Diego is going to host and LA are going to host the American League. And then Arlington, Texas and Houston will host the uh, National League with the World Series being played in Arlington. And this is the first time that a neutral venue has been used for the Major League Baseball uh, playoffs and the World Series. Now, as you can see there, we've got the Devil Rays, or Tampa Ray Rays, I guess it is, uh, taking on the Toronto Blue Jays. We've got the Indians taking on the Yankees, the Twins, and the Astros, and the A's, and the White Sox. And then on the other side, on the NL side, we've got the Dodgers and the Brewers, Padres and the Cardinals, 
Cubs and Marlins, and then the um, the Atlanta Braves and the Cincinnati Reds. So some very good matchups going on in this first round, and um, specifically in the NL, which we're talking about. We saw, um, I believe it was, what is that? Uh, Milwaukee, St. Louis, Chicago, and yes, three teams coming out of the NL Central. So um, they put uh, three teams, or sorry, and the Reds, so four teams coming out of the NL Central. So the the Central being, you know, theoretically the stronger of the two or the three divisions there uh, in the NL. Even though I think that the um, the West with the Dodgers and the Padres uh, was very strong. Uh, the Dodgers with the best record in the NL and uh, the Padres with the second best record. So that's one of those two teams. Unfortunately, uh, only one of those two teams can make it into the um, the NLCS as they will meet in the NLDS on October 6th through the 10th. So that's quite unfortunate because I think that would be a really exciting uh, game between the Padres and the Dodgers uh, series in the NLCS. But let's get on to those previews that I promised. And we're going to take a look at the VIP picks wall and uh, give you the picks and predictions for these games. Okay, so if you've used the VIP wall, you know what it looks like here. We've got uh, the different sports that you can pick from, and we're specifically looking at Major League Baseball and September the 30th, which is Wednesday night this week. And I'm just going to hit my drop-down box, and I'm going to find the first game, and we're just going to go with the uh, Reds taking on the Braves first. And uh, we'll click on that, and that will come up in just a second. There we are. All right, so we've got the Reds taking on the Braves, and we're going to see Trevor Bauer going up against Max Fried or Fried uh, in this game, lefty against a righty. And now the Reds go into this game average, while the Braves are also average. The Braves were very good in the NL East. They won the NL East uh, over the Marlins. And uh, if you were a fan of the Nationals, who won the World Series last year, but you know failed to really put in much of a fight uh, in the NL East, you'll be pretty disappointed with that. If you're a fan of the Mets, like myself, uh, then you will also be disappointed that uh, to see the Marlins and the Braves come out of the East. Uh, the Braves were a very good team. They made the playoffs again last year. And I really like the Braves in this game. I really think that they're going to be able to overcome the Reds on that opening game in game one. Uh, the Reds, not the greatest team getting into the playoffs this year. Um, they did. They got in. They were they were uh, you know good enough to get there. Um, and as you can see, the last six games they were four and two while the Braves were three and three now the Braves you could give them a little bit of slack because you know they made the playoffs there and uh, they didn't have to try so hard as perhaps the Reds did uh, going down the line now I do like the Reds or sorry I do like the Braves in this game and uh, I think that they're going to get a game one victory over the Cincinnati Reds and I really think that the Reds uh, of course wouldn't have made the playoffs had this been a traditional season and um, I think we're going to see the difference in the two teams here. Now, one thing to keep in mind is uh, the teams have had quite a few days to prepare for the playoffs. Uh, and, you know, this is one of those things where the second part of the season, the postseason, um, this gives everybody a new life. You know, everybody can there, – there is nothing stopping really, uh, except for talent, uh, these teams from really uh, moving on. So whichever team gets hot could really get through the playoffs – uh, like never before. This is a very special occasion, special situation with the playoffs. So uh, I'm going with the Braves though on this one. I like them to pick up this win and to get a leg up on the Cincinnati, uh, sorry, yes, on the Cincinnati Reds uh, going into this game. And uh, I do like the Braves to go through uh, into the uh, NLDS after this. Now let's take a look at our next game. And we will have a look at the Marlins and the Cubs. Now, the Cubs came through the, uh, the Central. They won the Central uh, this year. The Marlins finishing second in the NL East. And the Marlins had a pretty good season overall. Uh, and as you can see there, they were 3-3 three and three, uh, down the stretch there in their final six games. And we can see that the Cubs were not very good down, uh, winning two of their last six games while losing four. Now, I know that the Cubs are a bit ice cold here and the Marlins have done well enough uh, to get into this playoffs, but I actually, I like the Cubs to come through this game and I like them to come through the series. Uh, the Cubs, um, you know, they've been there before. They've won the World Series not too long ago. Uh, the Marlins are one of those teams that 
Uh, other than those years where they've won the World Series, they've never really been much of a contender or a team to make the postseason. I really think that um, in the end, uh, the Marlins are going to falter in the playoffs and the Cubs are going to come through this. Uh, now, neither team has announced a starter yet for uh, this, uh, this game, for game one. And because of the way that the playoffs are going to be, because of the uh, the way that the teams will have no days off and they're going to be playing every day. Um, we're probably going to see a lot of managers keeping their cards close to their chest with their their pitching selections. And I think that we're going to see some managers um, in this early round, at least, trying to save their best pitchers. And now we're going to see that with L.A. when we talk about L.A. in just a little bit. But um, I think the Cubs will come through this game and pick up a win in game one. Um, first meeting of the season between the two C teams, as we all know. Um, but again, I like the Marlins to falter um, in this game. And I know that a lot of people will say, well, the Marlins had a pretty good season, but I think the Cubs, they've been there in the playoffs before, and it's going to, that, that uh, experience is going to help them get through. All right, let's take a look at our next game. And as you can see, the scoreline preview there was in favor of the Marlins, which is what I'm going against. Uh, but let's take a look at the Cardinals and the Padres. Now, one thing here is I have to say I really like the Padres. I really enjoyed watching them during the season. Um, I really enjoyed what they did at the plate. They scored a lot of runs this year. Um, you can check out the blog. I've put in um, the different run differences we've seen this year. Um, and you can check out all of those things there in our in-depth blog. But I really like what the Padres did um, this season. And I think that they can cause a lot of damage. And even though the, the, there's a lot of people thinking that the Dodgers will go all the way, which they've thought that in the last few years, I think the Padres could upset the apple cart and knock off the, the Dodgers in the NLDS. Now, as I said before, I think it's a shame that we're going to see those two teams play uh, in the second round. I'd love to see that in the NLCS um, with the two teams fighting out for the pennant in the, in the National League. The Cardinals... Uh, as we can see, we're three and three down the stretch. Padres were also three and three down the stretch, but they did win three uh, straight games to finish the season. Uh, I believe uh, Quang Hyun Kim has been picked uh, to start this game for the Cardinals. He's a left-hander, and uh, he'll be going up against the Padres. Um, very strong hitting team. Now the Padres are the number four seed, which you know is one of those things where they they actually should be higher. It's unfortunate they had the second best record in the NL. And the only reason they have uh, that number four seed is just because the Dodgers did th that much better than them this year. I think the Padres can come through this with a win, and I wouldn't be surprised if they sweep uh, the Cardinals in two straight games and move on to play possibly the Dodgers in the next round. So I'm going with the Padres on this one. Um, I love what they're doing. I love those uniforms, and I think they're going to be very good in the playoffs. And so let's take a look at our last game on uh, Wednesday night, which is going to be another game from the NL. And if you look at that, look at that scoreline prediction right there. Dodgers taking on the Milwaukee Brewers, and our scoreline prediction is 12-0 in favor of the Dodgers. Now, the Dodgers are going to throw Walker Burrell uh, in this game. The Brewers have not selected a pitcher yet. And this is what I was talking about earlier. Perhaps managers uh, Dave Roberts holding their cards closer to their chest uh, and picking pitchers uh, who or saving their best pitchers for later because there's going to be a lack of rest uh, for teams and players in this series or in this playoffs. Uh, and getting through the wild card allows them to save their best pitchers for the NLDS and the NLCS. And the fact that we're going to have fewer days is going to put a lot of strain on the arms, especially of those really good top-notch uh, pitchers. Now, the Dodgers uh, go into this. They have the best record in the NL. They've been fantastic. Five and one in their last six games uh, before the playoffs started. Four straight wins. And the Brewers, we can see, are very inconsistent. They back their way kind of into the playoffs. I believe they had, uh, yes, they had the, the worst record of any team in the National League to make the playoffs. They were the only one under 500. Uh, they were the best of the rest. So the Brewers really. You know, they don't really, on paper, have a shot at making it past uh, the Dodgers. And the Dodgers really should beat them 
in five straight, or sorry, in two straight and not five straight. Uh, they should beat them in two straight and move on to play the Padres in the next round. Now, of course, things are different on the baseball diamond, and we could see the Brewers uh, throw a shock up, but I highly doubt that. I think the Dodgers are going to go through this um, quite easily, and I think Dave Roberts can save a lot of his pitchers and move on to play a very difficult series against the Padres. Now, even if the Dodgers play the Cardinals, I think that will be a very uh, much more difficult series than this one here against the Brewers. Now, one of the things to keep in mind as a, as a better is that the baseball playoffs were expanded to eight teams in each, in each league. So in this first playoffs, it's kind of like the NBA playoffs. You're going to, in that first round, you're going to see a lot of lopsided scorelines. I'm, I'm predicting a lot of lopsided scorelines like this, 12 nil, uh, 12 nothing. I think you're going to see a lot of lopsided scorelines and you're going to see some teams uh, overachieve perhaps. Uh, we're going to see some, some games where teams really blow out their opponents. And for some people, it's going to make them assume that that's going to carry on for the rest of the playoffs. It's going to um, artificially inflate opinions of teams, possibly like the Dodgers, of what they can do as the series goes on. Keep in mind that the Dodgers are playing a very poor Brewers team who finished under 500 in a 60-game season. So keep that in mind when you're making your sports bets for the next round. Okay? Um, so... That said, uh, in giving you my pick, I'm going with the Dodgers on this one. I think the Dodgers are just, again, they're the class of the National League other than the Padres, uh, and they should get through this, sweep the Brewers, and set up a fantastic series uh, with the Padres in the second round. So my prediction, Dodgers, 12 nothing, maybe so, as we go on through these playoffs. Now, we'll come back with some more predictions as we go on through the playoffs, but as you know, that things are going to be coming thick and fast in the Major League playoffs. They start on the 29th with the American League getting things rolling. And then we go into Wednesday night, the 30th, with the National League getting going. Guys, I hope you enjoyed our video today. I hope you enjoyed these picks. And I hope you go over to Z Code System, sign up for the VIP, and use these tools to help you make your wagers, make your smart wagers on the Major League Baseball playoffs. We'll be back with some more videos later this week. We'll take a look at some Premier League football, some Premier League soccer. Uh, later this week, I'll be bringing you that as well as our blogs. And, of course, don't forget to go over to the blog site, and you can check out our blog on this very topic, the Major League Baseball playoffs, because also over there we have some more in-depth coverage of these games. I'm not really talking about with you. Um, we've got the odds <clears throat> on the futures for the teams that are playing in the National League, as we have also have um, some more talk about the pitching matchups going on. So guys, if you like this video, if you're just scrolling through for the first time, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel so you can get all the updates from Z Code System. And if you've come back uh, once again, thank you for so much for coming back. Please like the video and we'll see you next time here on Z Code System.